What's up, party people? It's Brian here with Unrival Multimedia, and today I would like to discuss and explain why the college football playoff selection process is absolutely insanity. This is ridiculous in my opinion, how they just continue year after year to the same things, put teams in that have name value over a solid resume and schedule of wins. This year, once again, they spit the bit, in my opinion. They put in Clemson number one, have no problem with that. Alabama number two, I have a big problem with that. The number three this year is Michigan State, I have a problem with that also. And number four, which was Oklahoma, which I have a huge problem with. Now, as we all know, those are four teams with name recognition. Clips it. You cannot sit there and really debate out of those four, in my opinion. Michigan State also, very solid resume. They really did play a lot of solid teams and grind out a lot of tough wins against good teams. Now, as far as Alabama, what in the hell are they doing in this playoff? Please explain it. Look at their schedule. The SEC this year was not even the second best conference in college football. They were not very good against Florida yesterday. They were actually down 7-2. to two. You know? They, they just struggled against a Florida team who could barely beat Florida Atlantic at home. I don't understand how Alabama continues to get this little joy ride right on to the college football playoff because... They're in the mighty SEC. They just get it every year. I don't understand it. You know? They don't play anybody. The one loss they had this year was against Ole Miss, who lost to Memphis. I mean, they lost to Ole Miss. Come on. They shouldn't be in it. Moving on. Oklahoma. How in the world are they in? And TCU couldn't get in last year. Yes, I know I'm a TCU fan and I'm biased, but look at their schedule. Their three top wins were against backup quarterbacks. You're telling me that doesn't matter? You're telling me that does not matter. How in the world does OU get in over a team like Stanford and Iowa, who play way better opponents and were way, way more consistent. Wins, I heard Kirk Herbstreit talking about they're the best team right now as far as consistency. What? They lost, they won by one point against the TCU team. Who do you know they're the best two players? Trayvon Boykin, Josh Dodson, do you play? And you're over here telling me they're the best team. They did not play their best football against their top opponents who weren't even having their best players on the field, their quarterback. We all know in college football, there is a big drop-off between the starting quarterback and the backup quarterback. And, oh, you shouldn't be it. We want to hear about it. And at the time when they lost to Texas, Texas was talking about firing Charlie Strong. Texas couldn't find out what football was at the time. And they went out there and just choked it up. So, sorry, I don't have Oklahoma in either. The teams I had in was Clemson number one, Michigan State number two, Iowa number three, and Stanford number four. Hey, I don't want to hear about Iowa loss in the last second. They, with the whole year, and the only game they lost was in the last second. It's about getting the four best teams. It's not about name recognition. It's not about legacy and about what conference they're in and who brings in the most money. It is about getting the best teams, period. So, with that... I just really, really want to know what, want to hear your guys' comments because you should be outraged. I don't care. If you're a real college football fan, you should be outraged by this process. It's no better than BCS. All it is is about getting name recognition and getting guys in like Nick Saban and Bob Stoops to go up there and be blowhards and talk about it. I want to see the best teams. And right now, I think this is a horrible process. You've got a lot of guys who have favoritism that pick in the committee. They're part of the Big Ten, SEC, whatever. Pac-10 gets no love. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. 
So, with that being said, want to hear your guys top four teams that you had in the college football playoff. Also, do you think the process needs to be changed? Do you agree or disagree with what I have to say? So, really looking forward to your guys' comments on this. And as always, give this video a thumbs up. And please share it. As always, subscribe to Unrival Multimedia. And until the next episode, take it easy.